Today we're going to give you an introduction about how to set up a Google latest Wi-Fi. And right now it's the end of 2023. And first thing first, you have to make sure you have the latest version of our Shine Phone app. All right, go to the Apple Store or Google Play and download the app called Shine Phone. Once the Shine Phone was the was installed, it you will come to this page. So obviously at the first line, you choose the country and region, and then here we take Australia as an example. And then you do the uh, you input the username you had did the registration before. Because so now for the registration, you will need the uh, your username, password, and also your email address. Once all this registration is done, you input your username and password, and click on the remember, click on the uh, remember the password, and also read and agree the Shine Smart Services and User Agreement and Shine Smart Services Privacy Policy. Once all this is done, you go to the plant list. As you can tell, there's like a first one is a dashboard, then it's the plant, and you click on the uh, plant at the bottom. And you go to the plant list. All right, and here for the plant list, there's like on the top right corner, there's like blue cross. Click on that cross, you will go to the, got two options. Otherwise, it's add plant. Add plant, that means you set up a new solar set or solar, solar plant for you all use. So you, you can name your plant, your solar, so solar plant. And the uh, most important part, you have to uh, input the correct information for it, like installation date. And for Australia, it's a very unique NMI number. So what we, uh, it is short for the National Meeting Identifier. I, I identifier. So obviously, this one is very unique 10 to 11 digital numbers, which is located at the main switch, your house's main switch, and the grid company's uh, meters. The, and it normally it's a 10 to 11 digits. And then you, you get three options to input the your plan address. It's like you can do it automatically or manually. So for Australia, there's like a input of the choose the country and city. Most important part, always choose the correct time zone. If you didn't put the correct time zone, it may cause the, 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 the mounting issues. All right, for the PV, for the PV, Am I, yeah, for the PV capacity, it uh, normally for the PV capacity is you know, so for single phase, for example, you can always use the six on six under but and the plant apps, the residential plant. Okay, let's go to the next page. And filling tariff, because now always input the right filling tariff of the of your house. All right, let's go to this one. Let's go to the plant list. Page and here, as you can tell, this is uh, the add data loggers. Add data logger. So, obviously, here as you will scan the barcode at the back of the Wi Fi dongle of your invert. So, once you scan it, there's like two modes pops out, pop out. Uh, always choose the hotspot mode for street. All right, click on that one, and then you you have to short price, press the button at the bottom of the Wi-Fi dongle, and then it will join the hotspot mode. Hotspot connection. Uh, once the connected Wi-Fi is different from the, always choose the Wi-Fi that is uh, named with the Wi-Fi dongle's serial number. And uh, as you can tell here, click on the X XGD, uh, the a therefore and the 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 password for this one is one two three four five six seven eight and once you input put the then click on next all right and at this step data log configuration at step three that is actually ask for the Wi-Fi of your house so obviously here as you can tell and uh, you had to input the router, the house's Wi-Fi router, and also the password of the uh, of, of the wi house's Wi-Fi, and you click on the config immediately. 
Then some page, a page may pop out to say that there's no internet connection for your Wi-Fi. Here, Wi-Fi network XGD6DZ04L is not connected to the internet. So some of the, most of the phones will ask you to change to Wi-Fi. Do not uh, just decline on this one and stick to the uh, inverter's Wi-Fi. I know, so inverter's Wi-Fi. Decline on this one. And then uh, the phone will connect it to the inverter Wi-Fi first and then connect it to the house's uh, Wi-Fi routers at the second place. Uh, it probably take like uh, 20 to 30 seconds once this one is done. It will show, so obviously it will show the configuration is successful. All right, then return to the power station. Click on the return to the power station. Then do the refresh a little bit of this page. You will get all the latest information of this invert. All right, this is a working status of the of the of the blue light of the Wi-Fi dongle, which means it's working properly.